Okay. okay. All right, you're going to not do that while these mics are live. Hey. You can sit down. Now. You know, you got to hurry up, man. All right, never mind. You waited. You, you wasted your time screaming. You done it. You done goofed. Uh, Jay versus Locus is happening for losers finals. Okay, so what is, what is this account right now? <laughs> That count. You're coming in hot, right? In oh game my one. God! This was this was perfect timing, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I, I saw on the uh, on the uh, you know how like Aeon, Heyman is, is gonna know what I'm talking about. But um, Aeon, like on the uh, mainstream setup, there's like a TV and it shows a score, and it showed that it was like two one J or something. So I got confused. But hey, you know, just because there's malfunctions out on the floor doesn't mean there are in the game here. Losers finals. Circle Locust versus J. J doing a phenomenal job tonight, man. Dude, he made a hell of a losers run. He went through a lot of people. Like he eliminated me in like losers round four, and now he's like losers round like twenty. Like, no, yeah, he's, he's deep, mad deep. Yeah, he like he got a, he got like uh, since we met early, and he's 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 brought the heat. He, 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 he played, he's playing like a monster today, man. Like you do not want to play against Jay when he's playing crazy. I do think Jay actually does have a win on Locus already too. He does. Yeah. Yeah, we were discussing this earlier while he was continuing to make his deep losers run. How uh, Anto is one of the few Long Island wins he doesn't have. Dang. Okay. But now he's got it now. But, um, oh yeah, because he just, he must have just beaten Anti. He's just too old Anti. Indeed, that's pretty nice. And he's you know the Sonic, I guess. Yeah. Okay. There but it is. I mean, the Sonic was looking legit. A couple of uh, kinks to iron out, but it's looking pretty good. Uh, he was dropping some games here and there to other players. Like I know we dropped a, uh, a game to Mr. Mojo also. Um, Mojo not bad at all, but like that matchup's hard, you know. Oh, that's, like, that's yikes. That's yeah. big yikes. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that all, all I know is that we don't gotta worry about that because Jay coming out on top. And oh my God, he almost had the hard drag down into down air confirm, but Bayonetta is not afraid. Uh, no halos. Hey, man, Bayonetta doesn't have to be afraid of nothing. You know, she fights Angels for a living. Uh, hey, Bayonetta on Switch. Uh, get that, kids. It's a good game. Just throwing that in there. But, oh, she, no, he's not. Okay. Not dead yet. No, Jay's staying alive. Yeah, Jay Plenty of experience against Bayonetta. Yeah, Jay uh, DI'd out of that, but then uh, Locus just kind of followed him anyway. No, that's not going to kill. Okay, we got triple jumps, though. Special platform coming in clutch for Locus, able uh, to, to catch him on his landing. And just a couple back airs catching those air dodges. Uh, Locus focusing right down there. That was like All looking right. really even until that happened. Locus just kind of took control. Yeah. So that's going to do it right there. All right. Man's still popping off. He's got the best 3 or 5 to try and iron himself out. Mm -hmm. We saw him come back from the brink of disaster. Like SDs after SDs after SDs. He's still finding himself out here in Losers Finals. Oh, yeah. No, now, no, Locus no. didn't have an easy time getting here either. He also had to make a hell of a loser's run. Yeah, I know he had to beat, um, like, in, uh, he had to beat Hyde, uh, Mr. E. Wait, actually, no, didn't Locus, uh, he lost at Winner's Finals, right? Uh, I want to say he did. I could be wrong yes, about that. Yes, he did okay, lose at yeah, Winner's yeah. Finals. So I remember his winner's, uh, his winner's run was not, uh, easy either. He had to play Hyde. Oh, no, yeah. He, um, had he had to play, um, uh, Mr. E. Obviously, both those guys. Not easy to fight. Okay. That's not easy to fight, but uh, is he dead? I think he's, he yeah, he, he lost track of his resources. Jay, remember, he had a shooting star back to the ledge. A really good look for him. Yeah, okay, correct me if I'm wrong. I think he like kind of like accidentally wasted his triple jump when he was trying to do, do that uh, fair combo there. No, yeah, he, um, he tried too hard. <laughs> he tried too hard. I mean, got punished for you're, it. You're not wrong, man. Yeah, nah. Like, I say it all the time to the point where it's become a running gag in my circle of friends. You got to watch your resources. Hey, man, it don't, don't matter if uh, you're, you're running Rosalina right into the ceiling. I'm just saying. The Rosalina, I mean, she could do the same uh, to Bayonetta. That, that's for sure, man. Catching all these air dodges. Jay ain't going to have none of this. He's not going to let Locust land until now. And uh, Locust, he's, uh, this is very doable. I think Locust's combos, like, they're very, very good. You have to keep in mind, he's uh, from Canada. So, um, you know, mistake kind of uh, in his uh, field of reach. I'm sure, like, I know he, like, holds mistake in very high esteem. I don't know if they're even in the same region, bro. I, I don't know either, but I know, are. I, I know he's told me before. He's told me before that, like, he really, like, thinks Mistakes combo game is, like, crazy, like, the best. So, like, I'm sure he's, like, at least done a little bit of studying in, in that regard. Because, I mean, hey, Locus, if there's something that we can say about Locus' Bayonetta, he's obviously got, like, his combos are crazy until he dies. Yeah, nah. Yeah. yeah. Hot combo into the blast zone. Yeah, I mean, I mean like, combos uh, don't matter if you're going to die. Yeah, nah. <laughs> nah. Jay's got it. He's got, he's got that hot game one. Uh, the SD certainly helping him bring things back to an even playing field. But uh, in the words of our forefathers, we take those. <laughs> you got him, man. You know, you're playing against the Bayonetta. You know, she's, she's got like five jumps, 20 uppies, and she, she, she falls off the side of the stage. Hey, man, that's on you. That's on you, man. See you later. That's a stock. You're done. Dunzo. Dunzo, so game man. Game three to Lilac Cruise. Everyone's favorite stage. Hey, listen, man. Jay sold his soul to this stage earlier in the night. He made the Demon Pact. And it's been blessing him. Yeah, man, he hit up MVD in those DMs. He's like, hey, uh, hook me up with that. Uh, remember, remember what happened to Captain Zack at GTX? Uh, I, need so, I need it right now. I need it right now, man. I'm playing against the Bayonetta. It's not too far off. No ditties in sight, though. We do got that Rosalina, though. 1-1 one, one score right now. 
And uh, Jay looking pretty good this game already. He's uh, being very aggressive. Um, and Locust, oh my god, air dodging so much. He is air dodging a considerable amount. And uh, you don't air dodge in New York. You just don't be doing that. <laughs> That's the rule, man. We don't air dodge here in New York. Like, you don't want to do it because everyone's looking for those so they can get those hot combo extensions. Okay, now we got another grab. Luma is out of the picture. But Jay's one of those rules. Oh, okay. I was about to say, he's going to go in and he don't care if Luma's around. Yeah, no. Luma's just the added security. That's the second layer coding. Yeah, something like about Jay's play too is like, you always have to be like aware of what he's going to do when it comes to aggressive options at all times. Because like right there, like I feel like Locust kind of anticipate he would lay back. Then he's just like, nah. Like Jay is such a reactive player. You have to like keep that in mind and just like definitely just respect his aggressive options. And, uh, this is something, one of the things you really need to respect in Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. It is Rosalie up is up there. <laughs> No, it, it really does go without saying, though, like, Jay's timing on his juggles have been superb tonight. I don't know if he's been, you know, like, studying more, if he's just been practicing with uh, with Ray and DeBuzz, because they have both been around Aeon a lot more than usual lately. But nonetheless, he's playing like a man possessed, and I wouldn't have it any other way. He ever looks at his results and isn't pleased, just point to this bracket. Just show him the bodies he's leaving in his wake. Yeah, you know, I, I always say this too. Like, people will be like, oh, uh, who's Jay? You know, it's a, uh, uh, oh, he's about to get up. Okay, no, he's good. But you're like, who's Jay? You know, it's kind of like a, a normal sounding tag. And then you see this guy play, you're like, oh my God. I'm like, yeah, that's no ordinary he, fella. Yeah, he's, 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 uh, that is Jay. That is Jay the Rosalina, my guys. I'm always talking up Long Island's hidden bosses because no one likes to travel anywhere. And everyone's always familiar with, you know, the, the characters of the city. But Long Island does not sleep. No, we do not. You know, uh, Hey, like, a lot of us here are really strong, and Jay proving it. Trump with the back air. And he's going to bring us into a 2-1 count. This is the best 3-5 of set, so this is Locust's tournament life on the line right now. You know, this is this is scary. Um, I also <laughs> want to note this. This is kind of, it might be not be that relevant, but I'm going to say it anyway. Orion, he got second place. That was like a 138-man tournament. Today we got like 60-something people, right? So it's like, it's like, heck, man, like, dang. Like, yeah. Aeon is just one of those venues. I said this before, and I said this on Twitter, like, hey, man, if, if, if you're doing nothing tonight and you're not watching Aeon, you're whack, man. This is this is something you got to watch. So moving into game four, Locust with a very gutsy move, moving into his Ryu, and I actually like the decision out of him. We've seen that his punish game is, like, at its peak tonight with his Ryu, and even though he's opted for the Bayonetta moving in against Rosalina's just because the matchup is just so much to worry about, I feel like his ability to punish Jay's more questionable landings and the kill power that it provides will really give him the edge that he needs, and we're seeing that immediately here on Final Destination. Hey man, you know, sometimes it's just that character swap. Uh, you know, a lot of people, like, sometimes it's just that adjustment from one character to another. They need something fresh, and it looks like in this case, even with the matchup, you know, uh, I'm gonna say a little bit harder, for sure. But like, I mean, like, hey, if it gets the job done, and right now Locust is getting the job done. Rosalina already in kill percents, for sure. You'll press one if you're safe for the Luminoid's death. That's one minute. Like He killed him in one minute. That was one minute. Two stocks, one minute. Damn. Pre no. You'll press one for every Luma that has passed that you were able to hear its death. You know, I, I, say, this, I say this all the time, but Reason one of characters I feel like a lot of people have different opinions about. But hey, when he gets in, no one can debate. He he brings you hell, man. He is a crazy character. Um, Even off, like, even not even just off shore use. Like, the way Locust uses them, too. He gets all these crazy nares and back air conversions. It's ridiculous, man. You don't want to get hit by uh, this character, especially with Locust piloting it. Game 5 on Lilat. Speaking of pilots. It's MVD's the pilot tonight, happening. ladies and gentlemen. And they no don't like it. <laughs> they don't like it. They don't like it. It's not happening. No. <laughs> the, uh, the Devil Pact already made. Uh, Jay, oh having a win here. I don't know, man. You know, it's, it's like the devil on your back, and he's like, no, 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 like, go lilac. Er, er, no, early, earlier in the night, like he made the, he like, he brought. I forgot who, who did he bring to lilac? He brought Ralphie to lilac, and that was it. After that, Jay had just awoken. But. We don't have to worry about Lilat anymore. Its blessings has already brought itself upon Jay. Game five of Loser's Finals finds its way onto Smashville. Yeah. And Circle Locus is bringing the signature Ryu against Jay's Dynamo Rosalina. Having a phenomenal performance tonight. Yeah, man, this set has been so fast. I just want to say that these two players are just beating, beating, beating the heck out of each other. And, you know, I don't think this game's going to be any different. I don't know if there's going to be any adaptions made, but I think someone is going to die soon. I'm calling it, man.
I uh, I mean, the, the game doesn't end until there's enough character deaths. Hey man, I'm just I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. These two, they they they're good at it. You know, we got Lowe's with those shorties. We got those up airs from Jay. It's like baby's first option select. <laughs> Like, someone's going to die. I'm definitely Somebody correct. Somebody is going to get hit. Hey, look, and it's Locus. right. Yay. Locus got hit. Baby's first uh, option select. Jay's like, hey, I'm going back to the basics. I I'm five years old again, man. I just got to hit him. I can do that. And Locus, he's sitting on his tournament stock, man. This is not a good situation for him. Oh, is that it? No, nah, not yet. You got to give the man some credit. I mean, the matchup is bad, but, like, this oh, is heck? Locus we're talking about. Surely he's not going to get bested in a clean is throw that from Jay. Oh my god, and Jay, you It's actually monster. happening right in front of our eyes. Jay clawing his way through one of the most hellish losers brackets that Aeon has been able to provide in its 60 iterations. You know, I'm going to come out and say, I think that this Aeon might be the hardest Aeon of all time. It's I 